This is an activity on recording time series data with Pandas Python. And we're going to do this in two ways. One is assuming that we already have some stored data. We're going to retrieve it and just show some summary statistics and a plot. And the other one is collect streaming data. We're going to add a data row to a Pandas data frame each second for 60 seconds. And we'll have this simulated heater device that be able to use or you can use the physical device as well if you have one and for each we'll generate a plot that shows the measured temperature and heated values on separate subplots and we'll add some appropriate labels and compute some basic statistics for those values so the very first thing that we need to do is import pandas and we'll import a couple other packages as well we'll need a uh, time for this one and then we're also going to need uh, TC Lab. Uh, that's going to be for the streaming one. And then also matplotlib. And I'll go ahead and run that just to import those packages. So let's first of all just go ahead and import some stored data. And to do that, we just need to say that our data frame equals and this is going to be pd.readcsv with our url and once we read that url then we can look at the head of that or the tail or uh, sample some of the values in between so let's say i want to do five do five sampled values just randomly selected this is time series data so it makes sense to look at the head okay we can see time q1 q2 t1 and t2 and let's say i want to just transform this to set the index to be time and i'll say that in place equals true and then i see that now each row is defined by a time and then i have the different values here uh, one of the things that i can do now is um, go ahead and just compute some summary statistics. So I'll take my data frame and I'll describe it. And this shows the count, mean, standard deviation, min, the quartile information, and then the max. The other thing that I can do is uh, go ahead and generate a plot. And I'll have subplot equals true, so that it generates a separate subplot for each. So there I can see the heater one value, heater two, and then the temperature as it rises. And then also temperature two rises slightly because they're a little bit connected, but not uh, very strongly connected between heater one and temperature two. All right, let's work on streaming data now. This showed how to import from a data file. Now let's consider we have this TC lab connected and we're taking a measurement every second. We want to be able to build a data frame from scratch. And um, so I'm going to just show you how to do that. Uh, let's say we have X. This is going to be our, uh, we're going to define our data frame. And I'll just say that time is just going to be an empty list. I'll have heater one. That's also going to be an empty list, uh, heater two. And let's go ahead and just do a T1 and then also T2. Okay, so there's there are my different columns that I want in my data frame. And I'll say that data frame equals, and this is going to be pandas data frame with starting with the value of x so uh, if i print this out i can see it's just an empty data frame no rows there but let's say i wanted to add uh, to that let's say uh, the first data row and maybe that is 0 0 0 23 23 all right and then if i look at the data frame i can see i've added a row and then if I want to add another row, I could change that to one, two, three, uh, four, so on. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, rows to my data frame. Right now it's just an empty data frame. And I'm going to do this while I stream the data. So this one is going to be with a TC Lab. T1 
TC lab. And if you have the TC lab, then just leave it like this. If you do not have it connected, then use a TC lab model as lab. And then I'm going to say for I in range, let's go for uh, 60 seconds. So I'm going to start with zero. And then I'll say that Q1 is going to be equal to zero if I is less than or equal to five. So the heater's off if I'm less than or equal to five, else I'll put it to 70%. Now let me go ahead and just set that heater value. And then I also want to just say that heater two is off. Now let's go ahead and add our row here to the data frame. And this one is just going to be the counter I. And then I'll have Q1, Q2, lab.t1. So I'll take a measurement and lab.t2. Take a, the other temperature measurement as well. And then let's go ahead and sleep for one second. And it'll cycle through that. Um, now it'll take 60 seconds to do this. So while this is going, let's go ahead and just insert a cell below and do some analysis after it's done. We'll also set the index uh, to be equal to time. And we'll say our in place is going to be equal to true. All right, and then let's take a look at our head. And I'll insert a cell below. And let's do things like describe the data. That'll give us our summary statistics. And let me put that down here in the summary table. And then create the plot. We're going to say that we're going to plot it. And let's have subplots equals true. And if you want to make this just a little bit bigger, uh, fig size equals. And then you could have something like uh, this, make it uh, just a bit bigger. OK, so this just completed. It stored all the data. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the data that we generated. Here you can see time, heater 1, heater 2, T1, T2. And describe the data with some summary statistics and then create the plot. So this is almost the same as what we saw before. Those are both from the simulated TC lab. Um, but you can see here, you could do with Python, with pandas, you can either import time series data from uh, something like a CSV file or a database or other type of source and do some analysis with that, like the describe function or plot, generate a figure, or you can stream the data. You can stream the data to a pandas data frame. Uh, the other thing we can do is save it once it's done. So let's go ahead and just come down here and we will also insert a cell below and we'll do data frame uh, to CSV and uh, if you type enter, then you're just going to see all the values. But if we put a file name in here, so if I put data.csv, then it's going to save it here to my desktop. And I'm going to see that open up with Excel um, when I double click it. That's my default application for opening uh, CSV files. And you can see all the values here. OK, so that's it for Pandas data frame activity. Uh, there's additional information on data-driven engineering here at the uh, Pandas Time Series page or the Data-Driven Engineering course.